time. Guess what? I've gone and got myself a new phone. This is my old phone. This is one I've been filming on for the last couple of years. It's a Pixel 4, and you can see it's got a crack on it at the top, and it's also got a crack on it at the bottom as well when I dropped it in my new car. It's a bit annoying. I uh, couldn't be bothered getting it fixed because it was nearly time for renewal. Um, so, yeah, uh, it's goodbye to that phone, and hello to my new in my bag of goodies phone, which is the Samsung Galaxy S21 5G. Not me neither. Um, basically. Uh, they brought the seal on it, which always annoys me when they do that. Oh, we have to show you what colour it is. I'm like, if it's pink, yes you do, but if it's not pink, it's black, then it's fine. Because I like black phones. So there you go, well, that's the phone. Uncracked at the moment. It's quite thin as well, actually. Well, thin as it compared. It feels thinner, but I don't think it is. Well, it might be a little bit, but not a lot. Um, and it's got like a more of a grey back than a black back. And it's got three... Um, lenses and it's got uh, that's the flash and the light etc so we shall take off the protective bit which I thought would have come off if uh, in one go and take that off as well because I don't know what that is I'll get rid of that so there we go nice shiny I'm gonna put that back on actually I quite like that being on there I'm one of these people who leaves things on for no reason. It really irritates some people, but anyway, there you go. So, <laughs> um, what else have we got in the box? Well, oh, we've got a box in the box, which is always good. And what's in the box that's in the box? I have no idea. Quick start guide, it's always handy. A cable, so it's also handy as well, but nothing else, nothing else in there at all. Just so that's cobbled and recyclable, otherwise, I'll be a bit miffed. So, there you go. So, what are we on? We're on USB C to USB C. With my old USB C fit into it. This is my old USB C. Oh, that fits into it. It's my current phone. Oh. Yes, it does. Right then. Let's uh, turn this on. Well, that's pretty. How do you turn it on? Obviously, I should read the instructions, but I'm not going to. I'm a bloke. Why would we do that? Where's the sim going, though? I'm a little bit confused. Oh, there we go. We have life. Powered by Android. Oops. Secured by Knox. Going through all the uh, languages of the world. Oh, it doesn't do English apparently. Oh well, never mind. <laughs> right, let's turn it off again. Right. 
let's swap the uh, SIM cards around. So if you're trying to ring me, you're not going to get through because I'm taking the SIM card out of my old phone. Where was it on the old phone? Where she belongs? The old SIM card. It's the beginning of the end for that phone, isn't it? I've already got fingerprints on this one, which is a bit annoying. Right, where's the SIM card going here? Oh, the bottom. There you go at the bottom where we can see that or not. Goes in there's a little hole, a little slot near the microphone. So we'll put that in there. That pops out. Like so. And the SIM card is completely the other way around. Pop it out of that. There you come, mighty. Spin it round, pop it in there. Will it fit? It should fit. Very fiddly. There we go. It's now in there. And we'll slide that back in. So it's gone in. It's not charging for now because that wire's getting in the way. Let's turn it back on again. It could have been what I was doing, wouldn't it? I always think it's overrated knowing what you're doing, I'll be honest. It's much more fun muddling your way through. I mean, that cable's a complete waste of time. USB-C to USB-C. And we're off again with all the different languages. I just come up with it. There's me pressing it all the time, waiting for it to come up with English United Kingdom, and it, uh, it it has come up with English United Kingdom anyway. It was just showing me it was multi-language. How nice that! Um, so we've now got all the usual gubbins that you get, which is your data will be used according to privacy policy and use the license agreement details, diagnostic details. Uh, I've agreed and read all the above, which you haven't, but you, I mean, people say that the COVID vaccine, uh, they put a chip in you and they can see what you're doing. They don't need to. You've got one of these. Next. Choose a Wi-Fi network. Oh, I know my network is that. Enter the password. Connect. So we'll see if it connects. It's very bright in it. I want to go on dark mode. Connected. Okay, next. So now it's restarting to find my um, network provider, which is EE, obviously, because it comes in an EE bag. If it doesn't know that, I don't know. Also, says live at time broadcast. Well, I suppose it was at the time of recording, but not necessarily at the time of broadcast. Right, there we go. Just a sec. <laughs> you can hear me. Uh, copy apps and do it. You can choose to transfer your apps for. So, ah! Ah! That's what that's for. It's not for charging at all. It's for connecting your phones together. So you go next. You need a new phone. Okay, next. Oh, I've got one of the foldy phones now, look. I don't fancy a foldy phone. It is slightly bigger, isn't it? Slightly bigger screen, but not much. I do want to connect and go cable. We go cable. Can I go with your phone to your old device and cable? Okay. Oops.
Right, same with Galaxy 5G. It says it's all about cookies. No, 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 yes, no. There's one reason why I don't like the Pixel, it just doesn't work with stuff. I always wanted one of their microphones that you could just have on you, yeah, stuck on your clothes, like you say on the news. And all that when I'm doing my videos, and they, they just don't work. Analog ones, you got to buy the expensive ones. I never did. Um, I'm starting now. Okay, so two connect two phones together, which we've done. Open the smart switch on your new device and tap start. Okay. done all that okay do it wirelessless no it looks like we can't do all that so we'll skip all that because the Pixel is so annoying. I mean, I like Microsoft for lots of things, but the Pixel phone, I've had two and they've both been crap. So you sign in with your Google account. Uh, first Sorry, I don't understand. Shut up, you've been fired. It's registering my face. Stand lock screen till swipe. Access your assistant without unlocking the phone. Skip. Getting your phone ready may take a few minutes. Get rid of this bloody cable. What a waste of time that was. Oh, hey up. Will be downloaded when you're connected to Wi Fi from EE. Okay. Samsung account. Uh, skip that. Skip all on all this. Samsung Cloud, Bixby, Galaxy Things, Spotify, Mobile, Samsung Pass, Samsung Health, Galaxy Store, Secure Folder, Samsung Internet, Samsung. Yep, skip. Finish. Right. Okay. Oh, that's annoying. Right. Um, when you get a new phone, it's just a nightmare, isn't it? Going into settings and things. Play Store. So I can now download. they don't want you to download YouTube do they? So I've typed in YouTube with an O. YouTube. Right let's go to settings there we go. Uh, connections sounds of vibration there we go get that on. Uh, sound mode okay. Ringtone notification sounds some Notification vibration pattern. What? Uh, don't know about that. I'll get rid of that for now. Um, screen lock and lock. Charging dual key. Samsung keyboard. Turn that off. Turn that off. Right. 
Okay. I'll turn the Samsung keyboard vibration off as well. Turn charging off. Touch interactions will turn off. Camera feedback will turn off. Down keypad will turn off. I'll turn off the. I don't like the sounds of phones. It's just one of my things. Right, so let's go back now to. It's like it's like it's like never having a phone before. It's so annoying. Is that for weather information? I agree. Oh, we got YouTube. There we go. And it's me. That's good. Uh, dark. Thank you. At last, we're getting somewhere. Space. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So it feels like there's an edge on this phone here. But there probably is. Because I've still got the screen protector thing on it. So, I think, basically, we've got the thing working. But, something we need to find out, which is quite important. That's not that. That's not that either. Go away. Camera. Right, so what settings do we have on the camera? Oh. Uh, more. So we've got Air Doodle, Pro, Panorama, Food, Night, Portrait Video, Pro Video, Super Slow Mo, Slow Mo, Hyperlapse, and Director's View. Well, as you can see both sides of the screen, you can see underneath as well as above. Okay, don't know why you want to do that. Settings, what kind of settings do we get? Selfie, selfies, video stabilization. Off, on. Advanced recording options, reduce file size. Zoom in, mic, match the mic zoom to the camera zoom while recording in video mode no I don't think that would work An auto HDR tracking auto focus grid lines location tag shooting method services vibrational feedback privacy noises about camera okay that's a bit boring okay so they're completely all right, FHD Auto, FHD 6030, HD 30, UHD, go away, go away, go away, UHD, okay. sure about this camera I'll be honest there why is it not focusing what's going on with the camera is there something over the Ah. <laughs> there you go. I'm not saying I'm thick or anything, but maybe I should have read the quick start guide. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. Need some work. Anyway, basically got it going. Um, I'm not going to put this up yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just play with the phone a little bit and just see.
see what happens. Yeah. And then I'll do a review in a couple of weeks when I've done some filming with it. So yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you very soon. So yeah, it's been a couple of days now since I got my new phone, which was the uh, Galaxy um, S21 5G to replace my Pixel 4, which uh, was out of date and I dropped and everything. So uh, yeah, all good. So here we are, still working and still working. Doesn't like my face though. Who does? I don't know. Yeah, it's worked. So I've got my apps on there now. I've got a cool little um, thing going on there as well. well. One thing I've noticed, and it's really annoying me, is that little bit there. You can see that now, that white bit. And it feels like a chip or something. I didn't notice it when I opened it, but it probably was there at the time. And also the edge gets stuff stuck in it. And I thought I had another chip a bit further along, but it turned out just to be a piece of something that had got stuck in there. Um, and I've also learned my lesson as well from before so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put on it a cover it's an original original new case classic fashion for the S21 uh, bought from Fontech opposite me about to move to Mains in Wigan Main Street so that out, put that out, and then I think you just slide that in there, don't you? I don't know, I've never done this before. I've never bought a screen cover before for any phone I've ever had. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's cool. So it's got a thing on it as well so it makes it look a bit more uh, rrr, now a bit more grrr, and a bit more and it hides though it doesn't add that bit I was trying to hide I can still see it no I don't have OCD honest I can still see that bit there not happy not happy um issues I've got with it my main issue is let's get something with some writing on it uh big writing there you go doesn't get bigger than that we put the camera on. Okay, so we've got it looking up. Yeah. Put something in front of it. It reads it backwards. Like what the hell? It's like a mirror, and that's annoying me. See, it's, it's right way around there. I'll show it to the camera. Where is it? Where is it? There is this camera. Show it to the camera, and it's backwards. So when I film something with the front-facing camera, it's backwards. It's really annoying. Also, the lack of face recognition is really annoying as well. Turn it off. Turn it on again. Face doesn't match. It's not wrong. My face doesn't match anything. Um, Battery life isn't great either, I've noticed. Uh, it always seems to be, I need to charge it up or do something to it. Um, so yeah, I'm not overly enamoured with it at the minute. And I tried it on uh, one of my drive videos. Um, and it just seemed permanently out of focus. I think it was focusing on the screen, windscreen. I was trying to get it to focus outside the windscreen and that didn't happen. So uh, yeah. I think I should have stuck with a Google. You should have gone to Google 6. Bet the devil you know. Careful what you wish for and all that. All rubbish that people say. Talking of rubbish, I don't want any form. So, what would I give it? At the moment, I'll just give it 5 out of 10. It's It does the job that I want it to do when it's not scratched. It's got a nice protective case but other than that not that else really face doesn't match so it's already in the light oh right okay wait then we'll turn it off 
There you go. Face doesn't match. Turn it off, turn it on again. Face doesn't match, now I give in. So there you go. Uh, everything else was pretty easy to set up. I'm gonna go back and have a look at the drone that I did. Because I was thinking the software just didn't like the Google. Because the Google was not user friendly for things like uh, wireless um, connections, uh, not wireless connections, connecting things to it at the bottom. It just, nothing would work. I'm hoping this one is a bit more sympathetic, so I've got to find all the bits I bought for the old phone and see if they work on the new phone. Um, wind noise is pretty bad as well on it, which is another reason why I try to buy this. Anyway, uh, I'll, I may do another review, or if you just ask in the comments uh, if it's like, you know, two months down the line or whatever, have I got used to it yet? Am I enjoying it? Is it a good camera and all that? And I'll let you know. Uh, other than that, that's it. So, thank you very much for watching, if you need to use now. And I will see you all again next time. Until then, we're seeing you. Bye.